What's going on, people? It's the YouTube troll, también conocido como Papa Perto. And I wanted to make this first impressions video for Dragon Ball Xenoverse. And I wanted to get the complaints out of the way. I wanted to uh, actually explain to you guys my situation before I bought the game as well. Now, at first, I thought the game wasn't for me. Um, you know, most DBC games that came out after the PS2 era, I have avoided because I felt like they weren't for me. They just didn't have that aspect that I was looking for. And you know what? A lot of people told me, well, Xenoverse is not as bad as it looks. All right, Like on YouTube, it looks boring and it doesn't look like you'll have fun with it. But trust me, if you buy it and you play it, you understand what I'm saying. So, you know, actually Toasty said that, um, S. Dot said that, and I believe Chica's Cloud said that. So, you know, they told me that this quest, that the game is a lot more fun to play, especially with friends. And you know what? I actually gave it a try. I bought the game. I went in with, you know, not too, not too many high expectations. I was like, you know what? Let me see what this game's about. Now, let me just specify that the first thing that I liked was the create a character feature. I felt like the create a character feature has been, on the Xenoverse, has been by far the best on any Dragon Ball Z game. I don't know how many Dragon Ball Z games have attempted this, by the way, but Dragon Ball Xenoverse by far has just done it the best way, the most efficient way, the most extensive way possible. Okay, so, you know, you can customize your attacks, your accessories, your clothing, your appearance and you know what you can even customize your combos so the fact that you're able to do so much in in the realm of customization i feel like you know what dragon ball xenoverse was going for was trying to give you your own identity all right within the game and i felt like they succeeded with that because not once did i see a character that looked like mine you know what i'm saying like you're very limited to the races that you can pick so you can pick hugh uh, earthling saiyan Namekian, uh, what else, and then Frieza race, now, I was like, okay, you know, no big deal, uh, oh, and Majin, by the way, Majin as well, and I was like, okay, you know, the races are kind of like, they're very limited, but at the same time, not once did I run into a character that looked like mine, and you know what, granted, my characters look like the same character from the trailer, which, what I was trying to go for, I'm hoping so I can give him that those clothes that, that he has on the trailer as well. I just haven't unlocked it yet. Now, as far as the customization goes, by far the best that, that any DBC game has ever had. Now, again, I don't know how many DBC games have tried this, but D DBC Xenoverse has it beat by far. And you know what? I like that. I like the fact that everybody has their own identity in the game. Okay. So now let's move on to the story mode. I've only been able to play. Uh, the Saiyan Saga, because I wanted to try out online, and I heard that for you to play online, you gotta beat the Saiyan Saga. So let me just start by saying that I kind of enjoyed with what they went with. Okay, so basically, when you start out a saga, like they give you um, like a what if cutscene. Okay, so with Goku, right? Like the Vegeta versus Goku fight, they had like a what if scene where. Uh, Vegeta and Nappa were both great apes. Everybody was killed except for Goku. And then Goku tried to like fight them and then he got his ass handed to him basically. I liked like what they went with there. And uh, another sample was Raditz. You know how like Raditz and Goku died together from uh, Piccolo's special beam cannon. And like on the what if cutscene, Raditz actually got away from Goku's like uh, grip and Goku ended up getting killed by Piccolo and then Raditz killed Piccolo. Now you know so far like at first before I bought the game I was like what could they really do with the story mode right because the story mode has been fucking put on every DBC game you already know what's gonna happen you already know how it's gonna turn out so you know there's not a lot of like adventure you can go with in the story mode right but you know this concept was actually pretty good it was actually enjoyable and I enjoyed that all right I enjoyed that a lot now the the gameplay itself is very fun but right now you know it's very repetitive because i haven't been able to get the good stuff you know the good customization um stuff so i'm you know i'm stuck with the same kind of skills for the moment for the time being i'm pretty sure that you know once i beat the other sagas i'm gonna be able to turn super saiyan i'm gonna be able to have other attacks that i like more and of course i'm gonna be more powerful and you know what 
let's just close that whole story mode thing and go into you know just that like the the, the whole grinding and be, being more powerful aspect of the game so for those of you that might or might not have seen uh, I actually posted my first ranked match on YouTube and it was horrible dude like I, I went in there and by no means was I thinking I was gonna win but I wasn't expecting shit to be that horrible like horrible in a, in, a, in a good way okay what I mean is like I went in there you know I was a low rank I'm still a low rank and this dude was like a like a match rank okay which is like level 80 I believe and this motherfucker beat my ass so bad like it only took him 15 seconds to hand my ass to me and you know this game rewards players that take their time that grind and power up their character which I feel is a good thing you know it's, it's a good thing that you're not able to just drop in and drop out of a match you know what I'm saying like you're not able to just go in fight and then come back out I mean you, you could do that obviously you're just gonna get your ass handed every time but you know this game really rewards players that take their time and make sure they grind to get the um, the actual attribute points which you can put in each category that you like so if you want your character to specialize in like combos or you know key attacks you would put those attribute points on that specific attribute and I like that because your character has kind of like a weakness and, a, and, a, and then it has like a strength right like a strength and a weakness so for example right for me right my my weakness would be that I have low health but my strength would be that my combos do a lot of damage and my super attacks do a lot of damage because that's where I put most of my points on now you guys might think that's a bad idea some of you guys might think it's a wonderful idea I don't know I enjoy the aspect of being rewarded for you know grinding it out I love that shit okay so overall so far I'm enjoying DBC I had to take a break I made I'm making this video as I'm taking the break because you know although it's fun I can't play this game that much I can't play video games that much or else I get tired but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video man tell me your opinions of the game uh, I honestly was surprised that you know most of my fears were kind of like disregarded in the game and I'm glad that the game turned out to be uh, as fun as people told me it was. Because, you know, like I said, the only grab I had was the online server being kind of iffy. But I hope they fit that. Um, but anyways, I'm out, guys. Peace.